Hello and welcome to our Thermomix TM6 and Cutter demonstration this evening. Um, my name is Laura Jacobson and I've got Sarah Sweeney on here as well, who I'll introduce you to soon, who's going to be helping demonstrate this evening. Um, but yeah, just excited to have you on tonight. Um, just to begin, I wanted to share a little quick video that introduces the family that brought the Thermomix to Australia, but also some really good background about the Thermomix. It is um, engineered over in Germany. And, and it's been here for 20 years. Um, so yeah, just a, this video is pretty cool and it shows a lot about the Thermomix. So I will just press play on that. Meet Grace, <sighs> mum, grandmother, friend, neighbour and home cook. In 2000, she added another string to her bow she became Australia's first Thermomix consultant. Consultants live to share their love of Thermomix. Every consultant has a story, and this is Grace's. On a family trip to Poland, she saw the possibilities of the Thermomix firsthand. Straight away, I saw how Thermomix could inspire people to create delicious food while spending less time in the kitchen and more time on the things that matter. Our mission is to make a difference in people's lives by helping them to easily create healthy, delicious meals every day and enjoy it. And now, with the smart connected TM6, it's all at the touch of a button. The manufacturer of Orverk, whilst global, is a family business at heart, just like our family business here in Australia and New Zealand. Growing up, Thermomix was a big part of our family. As a teenager, it got me in the kitchen creating new things and ignited my passion for food. Now as a dietitian and a mum, I get to pass on my knowledge of health and nutrition and my passion for cooking with my children and the whole Thermomix community. Today, more than 2,000 consultants share cooking experiences with people around Australia and New Zealand. More than 13 million Thermomixes have been sold across 40 different countries, including almost half a million here in Australia and New Zealand. And many of Australia's top chefs are cooking with Thermomix too. Since 1971, Vorwerk has been producing Thermomix in Germany and France helping people around the world to create a lifetime of amazing meals. German precision engineering, paired with cutting edge technology, combines 20 different functions into the one compact Thermomix appliance. Thermomix was first to introduce guided cooking, an innovative way to create meals by simply following the on-screen step-by-step instructions. We've developed over 15 cookbooks and more than 2,100 triple tested recipes on Cookie Doo, our digital recipe library. Your Cookie Doo subscription also provides you access to over 42,000 recipes from countries all around the world. What I love about my TM6 is that I can search for any of these recipes on Cookie Doo directly on the screen of my Thermomix. Today, you consultant will show you how Thermomix can help you to easily create delicious food smarter and faster. If you are curious about becoming Thermomix consultant, the next step is as simple as having a chat with your consultant today. Now it's time for your consultant to show you what you can create with your smart connected Thermomix. Thank you for coming to today's cooking experience and sharing in our love for Thermomix. We hope you enjoy. Okay, so just a little intro there about the Thermomix. Um, hope that was useful information for you. Um, I do have a lot of information for you all this evening, but to get started, what we'd actually really love to do is cross over to Sarah because she's going to start demonstrating our first dish for you. Um, and then I'll share a lot more with you, but let's go over to Sarah. Here we go. Hi everyone. Um, nice to see you all online tonight. Um, I want to show you a couple of things. Um, the first one being our cutter. So a few of you are online because you've already got a Thermomix and you want to earn our newest accessory. Um, so I'm going to use that first before we jump into a recipe. So I'm going to make a um, teriyaki stir fry tonight. 
It's the chicken teriyaki one on cookie dough, but I'm going to use steak. Um, but first, we're just going to show you how the um, cutter chops our vegetables to save us from doing it. Um, so on the TM6, we've got um, a slicing and grating mode um, on the machine. So I've just pulled up here the slicing mode. So I'm just going to show you how it slices. Basically, it is just um, like a bucket attachment. It just sits on top of the Thermomix bowl um, as an additional plant. So we're going to slice um, some capsicum. So I've just cut some capsicums into um, quarters. So we're going to pop on our lid. Okay, and we can select here thin or thick. So I'm going to select thick slices. It's going to lock in the top and the blades are going to start to move. So I'm going to drop it in with the help of um, this on top, which is going to help me push it down. What so basically just catches our vegetables into here. So now we've got, you can see here, just thick slices, capsicum. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat the same thing again with some onion. And then I'm going to show you how to break. Okay, so I'm just going to do thick again. So then with our onion, it's just done some nice. There you go, thick slices of onion. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna turn the blade around. So basically you have a little blade in the top here. Um, one way is to slice and one way is to grate. So I just had it on slice. So I'm gonna turn it over now because so I'm gonna grate. And now I'm gonna add a carrot and we're gonna grate. I'm just gonna come out of our notes here. Hey, Sarah, I don't think you turned it around. I think you pulled it out and put it right back in the same way. Yeah. Okay. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I think I did it wrong. Sorry. I think I did it. See you in a second. Okay. <laughs> we want to go uh, to thick. How did Laura you at? Got a slice of it, but I'll show you now how, <laughs> how it goes. That's good because, yeah, because now you can see the sliced carrot. Yeah. yeah, sliced carrot. So we'll have one carrot slice and we'll have one carrot. That's great. Right. Two carrots here. That's perfect for a stir fry. <laughs> All right. So our second carrot. Yeah, we're going to now thick grit. Okay, so for some comparison, now we have a uh, weighted cut. Got it. So basically, that is our cutter. Laura will probably go into it a little bit more with you. Okay, but now I'm going to share the Thermomix. So we've got a recipe here in Cookie Do. So on the screen of our Thermomix, we're on our home screen at the moment, which is the time, the temperature, and the speed. Um, we're just going to flick over to the side. So Cookie Do is built into the machine, um, so we can access over seventy thousand recipes um, through the Wi-Fi here on our um, screen. Um, I've already saved um, the recipe in my week, so we can weekly plan, and it's the chicken teriyaki recipe. So we're just going to click on it, and it's going to guide us through our recipe. So we're just going to click Start Cooking. 
Um, and now it's going to give us the instructions of what to do. So our first instruction is to place 10 grams of olive oil into the machine. We've got the scales right here. They go up in one gram increments. So we're just going to pop in our 10. And then I'm just going to press next. And that's asking us to add our skinless boneless chicken. I'm subbing it this time for steak. So I'm going to add in my steak. Okay, now it's asking me to place the splash guard on top of the mixing bowl. So I'm going to take off my measuring cup, the lid, and I'm going to place on our splash guard. So for those of you that's got a TM5, this is a accessory that we have with the TM6 when we're using the high heat. Done. And now we're just going to turn the dial. We've got the three little squiggles here, which means we're in the high heat function. Just turn the dial once and we're just going to leave it going. So it's going to... Um, Cook our steak for five minutes. So I'll push you back to Laura. She'll show you something else and come back to me when it's finished. Thank you. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to um, sort of introduce the Thermomix now that you're, you've already seen it a little bit this evening anyway. But um, I would love to hear from you guys as well who are on here tonight um, looking at the Thermomix possibility. I'd, I want to know what's important to you when it comes to cooking. So, um, I'm just launching a poll on your screen and we've got a few options here. And if you can't see the poll, just put it in chat or whatever. I'm, we're all very curious always to know what's important to you when it comes to cooking. For a lot of people, it's to save time. For some, it's to be healthier, you know, working towards your dietary requirements, cutting out additives, preservatives. For some people, it's just the simplicity, which we'll show you, um, the creativity and the taste. Saving money is also always great. Um, so, yeah, just different reasons uh, or different things that are important to you when it comes to cooking. Um, okay, I'll just give a few more seconds for that one. Most of you have already answered. So I'm seeing time and then more in the chat time as well. Time and health seem to be coming up the most. So I'll just share those results with you so that you can see what I'm seeing. Um, this is actually really indicative when we go to our demos well, like across Australia, the top two are always time and health, but a lot of people are interested in, you know, saving money, good taste and simplicity as well. Really, I need another option that just says all of the above. <laughs> so um, thank you for sharing. Um, that is always really good for us to keep in touch with what's important with everyone. Um, and I will just let you know the price of the Thermomix M6 model is $2,359. We have some really good payment options, which I'm going to go through at the end. Um, like one of my favorites is we have 24 months interest free, which works out at less than $25 a week. So if you can imagine whether you'd miss $25 out of your bank account each week in order to have a thermomix on your bench, um, that's one of the payment options. We have others, um, including a trade-in option, which I can cover at the end as well. But everything you see is included. So you get your Thermomix with the bowl and lid. You get your Varoma attachment. This is our steamer that sits above. It just sits on top. So what you're cooking in here can be creating steam for above, or you could just have water in here. But that's our steamer, and it's got a two layers so that you can cook lot, steam lots of things. It's a very deep dish. Add a tray if you want extra an extra layer. And your lid. We've also got our simmer basket. So now this one ordinarily sits inside and you can steam in it, um, cook rice in it, eggs, potatoes, whatever, dumplings, whatever. Sometimes the recipe also asks you to put it on top. That's to allow extra steam to escape without it splashing, splattering all over your bench. So that's a great attachment that we have there. Um, Sarah already showed you the splash guard. We also have a spatula a butterfly whisk, which I'm going to show you later. And it comes with a really great cookbook. Our basic cookbook has heaps of recipes. These same recipes are also on the screen, um, but you know, it's good to have the visuals and there's some really good guides in here as well. Like at the back, there's chopping and steaming and milling and grinding guides. So um, these, you know, these aren't ne necessarily recipes. It's just, you wanna grind some coffee beans or grind some almonds into almond meal. So. It's not a recipe, but it's, you know, you need a guide to help you until you get used to it. And I would say it does take a few weeks to get used to the thermomix. 
Um, and in that time, you're having fun along the way as well. I've had a Thermomix for 13 and a half years and I'm still having fun with it. I still love it so much and I just think everyone should see it. So I'm really glad you guys are on tonight. Uh, what else comes with your Thermomix? You also get six months free subscription to our Cookie Do platform, which again, I'm going to show you a bit later, the Cookie Do platform as well. Um, okay, still got time. So I'll wait for Sarah to tell me to shush. So I do want to show you on our Thermomix screen, when you turn it on, you've got a home screen here where you are in control and you can set the time, a temperature and a speed. And with the temperature, I really love that it has so many options. You've got 37 if you're wanting to ferment and melting chocolate at 40, cooking with milks at 70 to 90, and then above 100, it's going to start boiling and cooking. Um, and we also have a steaming temperature and our high heat mode, um, which Sarah is showing you at the moment. Um, if you scroll this way, we've got so many other modes that. Um, if you know what you're doing, you can come in here and use one of these modes to do what you want to cook. But I think I need to pause and get to Sarah because she's just taken off the lid of her Thermomix. Okay, um, so we've just done five minutes up in the high heat there um, to cook my steak. I'll just click next. So it's asking me using tongs transfer into a thermal serving bowl. So I've got our over here. I'll just show you what our steak is looking like. You can see, well, that's not great in here. Um, it's basically cooked in a little brown, which is good. So I'm just going to tip the steak out. It's asking me to retain the juices, so I'm just going to try and keep the juices in the bowl. Okay. Okay, so it's saying scrape the base of the mixing bowl well with the spatula to loosen any caramelization. Okay, now we're going to add our veggies. So it's asking me, I've actually got a heap of them, big bowl form. I'm just using it in my fridge. So the measurements are not going to be exactly the same as what it's asking for. It's asking me to use 30 grams of shallots cut into slices, 100 grams of red capsicum, which we just sliced earlier, 50 grams of carrots, 30 grams of snow peas, 120 grams of broccoli. So I'm just going to pop all this in. Got mushrooms in here as well. Some green beans. Right. I'm just going to turn my scales, take my scales back to zero. It's asking me to add in 20 grams of olive oil. Add in some more oil. Okay, so that's me to put on my splash guard again. We're basically just going to repeat the step what we did a minute ago with our meats. Um, now for our vegetables, so it's going to take five minutes to do the meat and five minutes to stir fry our veggies. Um, and at the end of this five minutes, we're going to make a real quick teriyaki sauce um, and then it's done. So it's really quick. It's a 13 minute dish from start to finish. Um, so it's a good one if you're time poor, you need to do something quickly. So we'll turn it on for five minutes and we'll come back after Laura. That's great. So just back to what I was showing you is all the different modes of what the Thermomix can do. So we have our scales here, which Sarah was just showing you, and they go in one gram increments. So they're super sensitive. So you can really drizzle or powder something in and it will detect it. Um, so great not to have to use measure cups uh, while you're cooking, just grab out of the pantry and go. We have dough mode, which I'll show you um, a bit later. Turbo is a quick pulse. Self-clean, I love, love, love. Every night after dinner, we do that. Egg boil is cool. You put in your eggs and water and you just choose how you want them done. We also have a kettle mode, a reheat, thicken for all your sauces. Oh, what did I press? Um, rice cooker mode is the absorption method of cooking rice just in the bowl. The blades will not be moving. Um, some of these, the modes just know whether the, what the blades need to do. So some of them, they don't move and some of them, they do. Ferment mode for making your yogurts or fermented veggies. We've got slow cook over here, sous vide um, cooking, which is where you need your really exact temperature control and you're cooking in a water bath while your protein is vacuum sealed in a bag. So if you, if you know what sous vide is, then you'll, you'll know. And if you don't, you, you might, might not ever try it, but 
Um, let me know if you want more info about that. And then we've got a few other modes here, our peeler, grater and slicer. And that's for if you're using our extra attachments, which we'll show you. Um, but that's if we swipe this way. Now, when we swipe the other way, this is cookie do and um, you can scroll down to see what's new, what's trending. Um, I had a look, oh, it's changed. Earlier today it was stuck on pancakes because yesterday was Shrove Tuesday and there were pancakes everywhere. Um, but yeah, and you can also scroll down to see other new collections and articles and videos and all sorts of information. But if you know what you're wanting to cook, you don't need to browse. You can just come here and type. It is a little slow when I'm on Zoom because um, Zoom is taking my Wi-Fi. But um, yeah, you could just come type in. What do we want to type? I don't know what I want to cook, but I know I want it to have chicken in it. So you don't have to know what you want to cook. You can just type the name of an ingredient and it will bring up all the recipes. So I've got 1,300 chicken recipes. Um, and then as you go in, you can um, be guided through the same way Sarah's been showing us with the teriyaki. So how are we going for time? So the, the other attachments you can get, these are totally optional extras. They're not included because not everyone wants them and we don't want to drag up the price for everyone. We only want those who are going to use it um, have these. So we have our blade cover peeler. This sits on top of the blades. It covers them so that you can do slow cooking with while your meat is not touching the blades or sous vide with your bags. Um, it is. It can also peel your root veggies, beetroot, um, potato, those types of things. That's just an optional extra. You can also, oh, I'll tell you that in a second. And we have our cutter. So this is our latest and greatest. Um, you stick your driving shaft on top like that, just sits on top of the blade. So some of you will be getting this cutter. So I just want to show you how to use it. And it comes with a really good instruction and welcome book as well. Sit your bowl in and then whichever way is facing up that you can see, that's what it's going to be doing. So we've got slicing and I don't know if you can see, there might be some fingerprints on there, but this is the picture of the slice and you can do thin or thick. Thin is one millimeter and thick is four millimeters. And then if you turn it the other side, it's grating. So you've got a picture of the grating on it. The other way to know is um, if you see the two different colors, gray for grating, slate color for slicing. Apparently this is slate color, <laughs> um, but yeah, it is, the diagram is on there. So that's our cutter and it just sits there. And then um, Sarah already showed you how it works. She showed you grating and slicing in it. So that's really cool. Um, so that's the cutter coming soon for purchase. Um, at the moment, it's available to earn. If you want to come on and be a consultant, you can earn a Thermix, you can earn a cutter, you can add a blade cover peeler, you can add a whole second bowl set. So you have two bowl sets and you can earn commission. Um, and other goodies along the way. We're always earning things as consultants. So if you're interested in that, let us know. It's a lot of fun. It's um, flexible hours because you choose when you want to work. And you get to earn things along the way and share the Thermomix. It's, it's great training um, included for new consultants. And um, we have a lot of fun along the way. So um, you can um, let us know if you want more info about that at least so you can find out if it's for you or not. So Sarah is on to the next step. All right, so we've now cooked our veggies. Well done. So I'm just gonna click next. So it's asking me to transfer into the serving bowl with the chicken. So I'm gonna pop in my steak, something steak. Okay. And click next. So scrape the mixing bowl, bottom of the mixing bowl. You'll see mine's actually really clean. It doesn't need scraping. So I'm just going to ignore that a little bit. Okay, do not clean mixing bowl. We like to hear that, don't we, Laura? Okay, so we're now going to add um, 10 grams of fresh ginger and 10 grams of garlic cloves. I'm actually going to use um, minced garlic and ginger because it's what's in my fridge. So I'm just going to pop in just a teaspoon of it. 
don't need to um, mix it because it's already done. Okay, so now we've got another 70 grams of tamari. So tamari sauce is actually gluten-free soy. So I'm just going to use um, just normal soy sauce. Seventy grams, thirty grams of honey. I'm just watching my scales go up. I'm doing this. Two teaspoons of gluten-free corn flour. Just going to be our thickener. And two teaspoons of water. Okay, so we're going to place on our simmering basket on the top now instead of our measuring cup. That's what Laura was showing you earlier. This is our simmering basket. So now um, it's set for three minutes um, at 100 degrees and we're going to turn to 3.5. So it's just going to take three minutes now to make a quick sauce to add to our stir fry. Cool, thank you. Looking good. Um, so back to what I was going through about the Thermomix. These are all the different functions of what it can do. That's it's twenty in one. Um, well, sh we're showing you some of these things tonight. But if you have questions about any of the others, please feel free to put your questions in chat or at the very end when I stop recording, you can come off mute and um, ask then, and we can keep discussing. Um, and. For those who joined a bit late, I will be sending out the recording tomorrow of this so you can catch up um, or share with friends. But yeah, basically the Thermomix does a lot. And the idea that it's an all-in-one machine that just sits on your bench, it does everything really well, um, means, yeah, it's just precision, it's awesome. Um, so, um, what I was saying, yes, so, what was I talking about? Oh, becoming a Thermomix consultant. If, yeah, if any of you are interested, please let us know. We have information sessions every week. It goes for about half an hour over Zoom, just so you can get the info and see if it's for you or not. You never know. Um, yeah. So the other thing about the, um, the Thermomix, I would love to know for each of you, Sarah's showing you tonight how to make a really quick um, dinner. And it's only taking her 13 minutes total. But as you can see, a lot of it, she's just standing around and not really active time. A lot of the dinners in the Thermomix are similar in that um, you spend five minutes or 10 minutes prepping and getting everything ready and pressing the buttons. And then you can leave the kitchen, leave the house, go do whatever else you need to do. So um, you can see how much time it can save you while you're making a wholesome homemade 100% as if free, you know, dinner. So I would love to know from you all how long it actually takes you to make dinner at the moment without a Thermomix. I know some of you on here already have a Thermomix, but I'm interested in the old traditional way of cooking. How long is it taking you to cook dinner? So we've got some saying half an hour, some an hour, 45. Yeah, half an hour is the main oh back to an hour um yeah so um as you're answering and as you're thinking at the moment how long does it take me to make dinner at the moment the old traditional way how much time is the thermomix going to save you when you're only going to spend 10 minutes in the kitchen and then you can leave so um i'll just share those results with you it is interesting to see how long people spend in the kitchen and for some people you want to be in the kitchen and you're enjoying that. And so, and I know a lot of Thermomix customers who use the Thermomix to make super quick dishes during the week, but then on the weekends when, they're, when they've got time, they can do the more um, involved recipes because we have a lot of gourmet chefs who use the Thermomix and they, they use it for doing things you can't do by hand. You know, the high processing power and the perfect sources while it's stirring and heating at the same time, those types of things. So my next question for you all is, it's not gonna let me do it. 
Oh, I need to stop that. Sorry. Um, my next question for you all is what would you do with all that extra time? If the Thermomix is cooking your dinner for you and you used to spend somewhere between half an hour and hour cooking dinner, what are you going to do with all your extra time? And how exciting is that to get to get back those minutes in your day? Minutes are precious. So we've got some people are answering. Cleaning's actually at the top at the moment, um, which is great because it means after dinner your your house is clean. You know the laundry's sorted, the whatever is done. So thanks for answering that. That's actually cool. So I will share those results with you. Most people said cleaning, and then we've got putting your feet up and spending time with kids, showering and hobbies. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty exciting, the time that the Thermomix can give back to you while creating delicious, healthy meals. Um, and it's simple. So yeah, that's awesome. I think Sarah might be wanting me to stop talking. Hey. So now it's basically just said, pour the sauce over your reserved chicken and vegetables and stir to combine. So you see that we've got a real nice thick sauce. Now you can't smell it, but it smells amazing. If you like yours really saucy, you can double this recipe, we can add a little bit more water. Like my nice and thick. So this is what we've got. No, let's see. Let me give this another. It's really nice and bright and vibrant and stiff. And there we have it. We have a finished meal. This is a two litre bowl here. Full. Oh. What is it? Looks delicious. Thanks, Sarah. Um, yeah, and as you said, bright and vibrant, it reminded me to share that the quality of the um, pieces that the Thermomix are made of. So we've got a very high grade stainless steel bowl with Solingen steel blades. So nothing in there oxidizes, which means you can, um, you know, chop your herbs in there or cook your veggies in there and it all retains its nice color and, you know, it's retaining those vitamins as well, which is great. Um, so I want to show you a few other things now that the Thermomix can do. And the first one is really um, using that high heat to caramelize. We've got, um, you can make fudge and lollipops and toffees. And I want to show you this honeycomb video um, because it's pretty cool. So I will share that. So actually I want to turn that volume down. So when you're making honeycomb, um, you come in and you can just type honeycomb in and press start cooking. You do need to have um, the correct amount. In a lot of time when you're cooking in the Thermomix, you can just use whatever amounts you want. But for this one, it needs to be exact. So follow the scales and follow what it's telling you to do. It's just adding in some sugar. And then you press next and add in your water. Just a little bit of water. And then either honey or you can use golden syrup if you'd rather. And it gives a bit of a different texture depending on which one you've used. Um, I think honey works well. And then you walk away for 22 minutes and the blades are stirring to dissolve the sugar. And then you can see it bubbling up and then they actually stop to cook the toffee. Um, you can Hopefully you can see through the hole there in that lid. It's um, bubbling up really nicely. And then this, this video is a sped up. That's why it's good to show. We're not, I'm not gonna sit here for 22 minutes and show you this, but so that's done. And then we add our bicarb soda. You just need to make sure it's sifted very you know, finely so that it can stir, because you need to do this quite quickly. You need to stir your honeycomb a few times and then tip it out. You can tip it into molds and the mix shop has some really cool honeycomb molds or you could put it in um, a tin or just lay it out flat on your bench and it will do its own thing. So here in the video, we've used the Thermo Matte 
Um, so you can see it expanding there. And then straight away, we can add some water to do a self clean. And that's what I was saying earlier. I love the self clean mode. You just add water. If you want to, you can add, um, for this one, you do need the vinegar, but normally you don't have to have the vinegar, but adding a bit of vinegar or dishwash liquid is a good in your self clean mode. Um, and then once it's done, I'm gonna turn the video, oh yeah, speeds up and stirs and it heats up and washes the bowl really nicely. And then I actually wanna turn up the sound so you can hear the crunch on this honeycomb. And the honeycomb just needs to set so it's um, cool. Yeah, hear that? It's beautiful. And you can see the texture on the inside. Beautiful, perfect honeycomb. So the Thermomix um, is so diverse, you know, going from making super healthy things and dinners and breakfasts and then to treats, um, which is really cool as well. And the other thing I would love to show you is, um, I'm just going to, need to shut that, is a pizza dough because another thing that a lot of people love to use their Thermomix for is making doughs and um, breads, focaccias, hot cross buns, all sorts of things. But this video is showing you um, a pizza dough. So we go in. Again, into cookie dough, type in the word pizza Bianca and press start cooking. It guides you through every step, even turning your oven on and getting your trays ready. So then we're going to put in as much garlic as you want. The recipe says two, but you're in control. So you get to put in more if you want more. Putting in some rosemary and we'll chop that. I just made this today and it was, um, you know, it's just delicious. Give it a scrape and you can see that only takes three seconds to chop that garlic and um, rosemary. Um, I chop it again so that it's extra fine, which you don't have to do, but it's a little extra step. Then we tip it out into a bowl and pour some oil in there if you want to. That's going to go on the top of our pizza. So, but don't clean your bowl because we want what's left in the bowl to be worked into the actual dough. And then the dough is really basic. So it's some water and optional sugar. It's up to you if you want to skip it or put it in. Um, traditionally, the sugar helps to activate the yeast, but because we heat this up at 37 degrees, it activates really nicely without the sugar. But um, try it both ways and see which way you like it. So now, as I said, it's going to heat it up for two minutes at 37 degrees just to activate that yeast. Then we add our flour, oil, and salt. And that is it for pizza dough. And then it takes two minutes to knead. And that's the equivalent of about 20 minutes of hand kneading. So um, you don't need to be punching that dough anymore. Turn it upside down, give the blades a twist for it to fall out. And then you've got your dough. So then it's a matter of leaving it to rise until it's about double in size. And then once it's risen, it's up to you. Normally this recipe, you'd um, share that dough in two. So you get two thin pizzas. This video was made by a friend of mine who likes it extra thick. So she is putting in, um, just she's just making one dough out of it and it's going to be really thick. But you'll see, you'll see how cool it is. So bake it in the oven and there it is. Oh, that was so quick. Hopefully you saw the inside there. I just want to show you again. Um, the inside is, yeah, beautiful. Really great texture for your doughs there. Um, yeah, and it, see in the chat, yeah, it does. It looks delicious. So that's our, that's dough honeycomb. We've seen a stir fry. The Thermomix does so much more. I do just want to show you cookie dough. Um, so again, I'm going to share the screen with you to show you cookie dough. 
because this is so cool. I'll only take a minute to show you this because when you do get a Theramix, your consultant's going to show you it in a lot more depth, but I just want to show you briefly what it can do because um, I think it's awesome. So um, I've already shown you that you can just come and type something in. Um, today we were looking at vegan recipes, so that's just the word that's on my mind. Once you've found a recipe that you're wanting to cook, um, sorry, I need to be logged in. Um, once you've found, what's something else? What's something else you would want to make? Let's see, dinner. <laughs> Once you've found something you're ready to cook, the layered chicken dinner is pretty yummy. Um, press these three dots and here's where you can organize it. So you can either bookmark it, add to a collection. So those are your own folders. So these are my folders um, and you can name them whatever you want to name them or add to a week. I love doing this so that you can really plan what you want to eat on which day. Um, and the other thing you're going to do once you've added it into your week is add to your shopping list. And let me just add, yes, the Merg Mark Me, if I add that as well, you'll be able to see in my weekly planner. Now, when I go to my week, you can see the recipes that I've planned for the week. And we have our shopping list here as well. So if I go to show ingredients, I've got 11 recipes in here and it breaks it all down into categories, all the recipes. So as you're going down the aisle, the dairy aisle, everything you need there, the meat, the oils, the preserves, the spices. And if you've already got something at home, just tick it off before you go. And then you can have the app open on your phone. And as you add your items to your trolley, use your finger to just tick it off. So that by the end, your list is empty. But if you do not want to be the one doing the shopping, you can press this beautiful green order ingredients button. And this works with Woolies online. So it's going to um, detect all the ingredients you need for the week. It'll choose a brand for you. So um, if you don't like the brand it has chosen, you, all you have to do is press swap and choose the one that you do like. I probably would tick this off and just make my own mayonnaise in the Thermomix, but for today's exercise, you know, come and choose the one you want for whatever reason. And once your list is ready, you're going to add to your Woolies cart and it takes you straight there. So the other great thing about Cookie Do is um, that we used to get asked this a lot and now the answer is yes. What if I want to add in my own recipes and have it on the screen with guided cooking? Yes, you can do that. Come in here to created recipes. And these are some of my family's favorite recipes that I've added in. And that's my daughter there in the picture. Um, and these other pictures are my own, except for that one that's um, imported. So you can import recipes from our website, recipecommunity.com.au, or you can add your own recipes from scratch and then they show up if I just show you they show up on your screen so if I come here and go to my recipes and go to created recipes they're all here on the screen um, so you know my daughter can come and make her favorite spaghetti bolognese and she gets a kick out of seeing the fact that it's her picture on the screen um, the other thing are that your bookmarks are here and your week is here. So these are the recipes that I just put in to the weekly planner and they're all on there. So on Thursday or Saturday or Sunday, I can just come here, press what I'm gonna make that day, the recipe comes up. You can scroll down to see your ingredients and your steps. You can also scroll further to see the hints and tips the nutrition guide and sometimes there's substitution things but when you're ready you just press start cooking as you saw Sarah do um what else is great about cookie do oh one more thing I wanted to show you sorry about cookie do is that you can also um this is another question we used to get is um that's too much for my family or that's not enough for my family can you change the recipes Yes, we have recipe scaling now. So a lot of our recipes are designed to feed four. You can scale it down for two. 
and you'll see now my flour is down to 200 grams instead of 400 grams, or you can scale it up for six and every ingredient changes to match. Um, and so that's another really cool feature of Cookie Do. Um, I think that's all I wanted to share about Cookie Do. Um, yes, and yeah, in the chat, they're saying the shopping list is saving so much time. It's saving a lot of time, but it's also cutting out a lot of waste because you're only buying what you need for the week for your weekly planned recipes. So you're cutting out waste, saving money, and saving time. It's just brilliant. The whole system of the Thermomix with the Cookie Do um, platform is awesome. Now, just so you know, Cookie Do is a subscription based website. So it, um, it comes with six months free when you first purchase your Thermomix, but ongoing it is $69 a year um, to subscribe. So you don't, and you don't have to subscribe. Um, some people don't want the ongoing cost, and that's okay. You can use your Thermomix without it. That is up to you. And during that six months, you've got a, that's a really good amount of time so that you can judge for yourself whether it's worth the ongoing subscription. Um, that's, yeah, and that's your choice. So I do wanna make for you now um, a dessert. I just need a second to get some fruit out of the freezer because um, it obviously needed to stay in the freezer till I, till I needed it. Um, and I need two seconds to say something to my. Sorry. <laughs> um, so funny. Um, so yeah, I want to show you how to make one of our favorite. I'm going to say desserts, but we tend to use it in this house as an afternoon tea, especially in summer when the kids come in hot from school. I have four kids. They come in hot. They want something refreshing. It's on the healthier side. It's mainly fruit, but it is actually a dessert. So the other thing is I try to keep frozen fruit in the freezer at all times so that if I have unexpected guests or the neighborhood kids come around or whatever, um, I can make this really quickly and easily. Um, there is also the other option of making sorbet. Oh, there's actually a million options, but the sorbet is really good as well, which uses fresh fruit and ice. This one I'm showing you today is called Fruity Dream. And I'll just show you how we make it. So I do need to type it in because I didn't have it organized um, in my planner, even though I should have. So we come into the recipe and I'm just gonna press start. Now, the first thing it wants us to add is sugar. It's telling me it wants 80 grams. I, and I'm just putting in raw sugar. I think that's very sweet. So I'm only going to do 40 grams. And that's just my choice. It's it's up to you. I think, you know, try everything once and then you can change and decide what you want to do next time. But putting on the lid. And I'll show you what's going to happen now. It wants me to turn the dial up to speed nine for 10 seconds. Now this is really cool because in that 10 seconds at 10,300 revs per minute, you can see how powerful the Thermomix is to mill that sugar. So we've milled that raw sugar into a powder. So basically making your own icing sugar that doesn't have any additives and is also a third of the price. And that's just one example all along the way and inserting our butterfly whisk. All along the way, when you're making your own um, foods, you do find that you save a lot of money while you're cutting out those additives because you're just cooking with raw ingredients. Okay, next I'm adding an egg white. And I'm going to show you now, there's two ways of making Fruity Dream. One way is to just have the egg white in raw. Um, so you've got that raw protein in with it. Or this, the way I'm going to show you now is cooking that egg white because I know some people don't like to eat raw egg. Um, so we turn it to speed four. This is going to just be whipping for two minutes at 65 degrees on speed four, at basically whipping up that 
egg white and cooking it so that it's not raw. Um, so it's just a bit more food safe for those who need it to be food safe. Um, and then, sorry, I should be back over here. Anytime in any recipe, I usually do this in dinner, but when you want to look ahead to multitask, you come here and you press these three dots and you can look ahead at the recipe. So say your onion sauteing or your garlic cooking or whatever, come down here and go, right, now I need to go get this out of the pantry or this out of the fridge. So in this case, it's just the rest of the fruit. Um, yeah, but ordinarily, um, when I go to cook, I only have the first ingredient ready. And then while it's doing that, I can go get organized with whatever else I need to do. So in that minute, I can let you know that um, each of you, some of you are already here tonight as part of a cooking experience and you have a host who invited you on tonight to join. Some of you have joined just on your own because you want to look at the ceramics or the cutter. Others of you are here as a cooking experience. So we have these cooking experiences we do where we can come either in your home or we can do it online and you can gather two or three friends and share with them how cool the thermomix is. If it's in person, it's a lot of fun and we eat and we cook and everyone gets a turn pressing the buttons. Um, online is cool too. It means you don't have to leave your house. So different options. Either way, hosting gets you a host reward. Um, and there's normally there's five different host reward options. At the moment, we have a bonus option, which is the cutter. But normally we have our thermo server options, which we saw Sarah use. And we have our thermo mat option, which we used for the dough and the honeycomb. Um, so yeah, those um, host reward options are really cool. So if you think, you might already be thinking, oh, so-and-so needs to see this. Oh, my sister, my neighbor, whoever. Um, talk to your consultant because you can set up to host your own demo and it could be as easy as this is online or it could be um, in person. So it's just wanting me to scrape this, but you can see how silky and beautiful that meringue is. Um, and that's only two minutes with one egg white. So you can imagine what happens when I've got eight egg whites in here to make a pavlova. Um, I'm always put in charge of making the family's pavlova at Christmas time because it's, um, family makes it so well. Um, and now I'm just doing that for another minute. It wants you to do it for an extra minute just to really make sure because at the bottom there is a little bit that hadn't cooked yet. So, um, and then I wanted to let you know about the customer service that comes along with your Thermomix. So your consultant is here to help you along the way to help you with any cooking experiences you're interested in hosting or being a part of. Um, when you do invest, we have a delivery unpack where we get you cooking and make sure you're really confident. So the support you have is as little or as much as you want. So some people want nothing to do with us. And they're like, no, I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. That's fine. You want to do your own thing. But other people want um, someone with them to just help them set it up, get it going, stay with you while you make your first dish and point out extra things that maybe some people, there, there are a few things that some people don't notice on their own. So it's really good to have a consultant to help show you how to do those things. Um, we're also always available ongoing. So uh, I have noticed all of our consultants love talking about the Thermomix. I definitely do. So you never have to be shy or feel like you're hassling us. Do reach out and ask us those questions because we get excited knowing that you're using your Thermomix and that you've got questions about it. So yeah, we love hearing from you and we love supporting you along the way. Well, that's our, and I would love to lick that, but I won't right now. Um, but that's our egg white cooked there. And then it wants us to add in our fruit. So I'm using just a bag of blueberries tonight. You can freeze your own fruit. We've got, you know, had such beautiful produce this summer. Um, you know, freeze your mangoes, your strawberry, your pineapple. Pineapple fruity dream is delicious. Um, and so now it wants us to add in the measure cup. Oh, no, it doesn't. This is cool too. This is, um, I find this entertaining sometimes it 
thinks you might not know what um, one of the steps means. And if you're new to Thermomix, you don't know what it means. So this step is asking me to insert the spatula through the hole. And just in case you aren't sure what it means, it shows you a little cute video on how to do that. So the spatula of the Thermomix has this guard on it, meaning it will never reach the blade. So don't do this with a different spatula, only do this with the actual Thermomix spatula. Um, and we're just going to blend this for one minute while I give it a little. Okay, so now we are going to put the butterfly back in. I'll show you what we have. And I'll put the butterfly back in and it's going to whip this up for us. So it's a matter of just using the spatula to move the fruit to make way to put the butterfly in. And one more minute and it will be done. So you can see it's done in about, well, five minutes probably. Not that if I add up all the minutes. So you see, yeah, four or five minutes to make your fruity dream. Um, the other thing I was going to mention earlier is um, for those who have a summer mix, we also have cooking classes. So um, they are in person. Depending on where you live, we have them every now and then. We have in-person classes, and but we also have a lot of online classes. I know tonight is more of a demonstration style where we're showing you what the thermomix can do, but a lot of our online classes are more assumed that you've seen the thermomix before or that you have one, and we have a theme. So it could be um, healthy meals or lunchbox or meals for a bigger crowd or um, you know Easter, Christmas. Uh, bread and butter, all sorts of different themes um, that we do. And they're on almost every week. Well, they are, they're, we do them each week and we kind of all take in turns running them. So you'll see some different faces if you start getting on them. Um, but yeah, that's our, I'll show you what we have here with our fruity dream. So I absolutely love this um, dessert. And that's, the, I love the color of the blueberries. Hopefully you can all see that. Um, it just, it's a really pretty yummy color and it's that soft serve um, dessert, um, which is delicious. So. Sorry, while well, you're talking about the classes, Laura, um, if, if anyone is interested in seeing the classes that we've run previously, we do record most of them. Um, yes. So we can send you the recordings. So if there's something that you're interested in or you want to see more of the Thermomix by looking at a class, um, we can send them on to you as well. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. That's a good point. I'll, I'll include the link tomorrow when I email you all um, the recording from tonight. So that's a good point. Um, yeah, because sometimes they're on at a time that you're not free. So we post the recording on YouTube, um, which my kids think is hilarious. Oh, my mom's on YouTube. Um, so these are all the different reasons why people do invest in a Thermomix. So as we talked about earlier to be healthy simple fast creative or to save money so now that you've seen some of the things of what it can do I'd love to hear from you guys as to know which one appeals to you the most um, this is really good feedback for us as well and again I really should have a tick that says all the above I'm going to add that for next time because for me 
even though I got it really to save time, once I got it, it was like, oh, well, now we're being healthy and look how simple it is. Look how creative we can be. We're saving money. Um, you know, it's ticking all the wonderful boxes to really change your lifestyle and really improve improve your life, really. Um, so, yeah, thank you for answering that. Um, I'll end that there and share the results for those who are interested. So we've got simplicity and time being the top ones followed by healthy and creative yeah that's cool that's really good to know um so i'm just going to go through the payment options of the thermomix for those who are interested and so you can earn a thermomix by becoming a consultant i kind of talked about that a bit earlier um but yeah if you are interested please reach out to your consultant just to get the info it doesn't mean you're definitely going to do it but getting the info is a good step um, so we also have some payment plans. We have Afterpay, which splits out your payments over four months, four payments in four months, um, interest-free. Um, we also have Zip Money, which is 24 months interest-free. So that's probably our most popular option because as I said earlier, it's less than $25 a week. So if you can imagine whether you'd miss that money out of your bank account or not. And also we find a lot of families, once they have a Thermomix on the bench, they're saving more money than that $25. You're cutting out takeaway, cutting out a lot of buying processed foods, you know, making your own, you can make your own yogurt, your own bread, and you're just saving, you know, dollars here and there um, to so that, that $25 becomes cost neutral. Um, sorry, I'm rabbiting on. We also have an easy three option where you can spread out your payments over three months on a credit card. That one has an additional $50 admin fee. Or one-off payment, PayPal, credit card, bank transfer, um, if you just wanna get it over and done with. Um, so that's the payment options of the Thermomix. And that is pretty much the end of our demonstration this evening. I know we've covered a lot in our hour. I wanted to stick to an hour, so that's pretty good, it's eight o'clock. Um, I'm going to end the recording and then just stay on for anyone who has questions. I'll do that now. But the other thing just to um, just stay on because there's something also important to say. Where's my record button? Um, yeah, so I'll stop.